And my wife does, which is the only important thing that matters. She thinks I'm terrific. Isn't that nice? That is nice. It took me a long time to find one who thought that. But <laughs> Fourth time around, right? Fourth time around, and I love it. <laughs> Hope for everyone. If I could do that at the age of 75, you know, you may be in terrible relationships now, but you keep going, keep going. Now, you're still paying off the third marriage? Ah, July, final payment. That's it. Yes, you're free. Money is set aside. Uh, I'm through. $20 million. $20 million. $20 million. No children. She brought no um, assets to the relationship. She never contributed to the income. But Californian law decrees, it's not sexist legislation, it, they penalize the breadwinner, whether it's a man or a woman. And the one who's really brought the money in, that's the one who's got to pay. And you actually had to go on tour to pay off the alimony? Oh, yeah, of course I did. I mean, 20 million. I didn't say, oh, hang on, I've got that in a drawer. Well, people yeah. think you're a big time movie star. Maybe you I would have that in a drawer. I spent my life working for charity. I mean, the BBC, you know, <laughs> which is a form of charity. Do you know what I got for the first series of Four Pit Towers? Writing and performing, I got 6,000 pounds. First series of. of um, the, whole, the whole first series, 6,000 pounds. 6,000 pounds. Whole first series of Monty Python, four thousand pounds. I mean, these are not huge sums. These are you got six here, four there, oh, four over there. That's fourteen. Well, that's some way towards twenty million, but not a very long way. It's we all crazy. <laughs> it's all completely crazy. We talk about. I mean, why would you? you know, if you want to get rich, what do you do? You go to California, you find someone who has a lot of money, and you marry them, and then. Fairly soon after that, you leave them. But of course, first you stop work. So you say, well, I can't support myself. This is what work. happened with your third wife. Well, that's all. Oh, yes, oh, yes. There's a question of them actually providing money by working themselves. Of course not. Why would they do that? You're the breadwinner. It's very unhealthy morally. Now, she, she was a therapist, right? And she was a therapist. You yeah. believe in therapy? I believe that <clears throat> if you're lucky enough to get the right therapist, it can have a wonderful effect, but I think that there's a lot of nonsense talked about it. Did it help you, therapy? I think it did eventually. Uh, but somebody said about therapy once that all the talk about analysis of emotions and discussions of relationship is just a way of passing the time until the bond of trust is formed. And I think if you've had a difficult relationship, in my case it happened to be with my mother, with the result there wasn't the trust there in that early relationship. It's wonderful if you can find a relationship with a professional therapist that later gives you the experience of trust. And I think that's what really, really changes you. I mean, I think all the insights sometimes help, but I think an awful lot of people do therapy who don't really want to change. And I think there's an awful lot of therapists operating who really don't know what they're talking about. I wrote two books with a therapist, a famous uh, psychiatrist in London called Robin Skinner, and I said to him once, I said, Robin, what percentage of therapists do you think are really able to help people? He said, about 10%. 10%. Yeah. 